The Missile Defense Agency is America's shield against incoming nukes from hostile nations targeting California or New York. The agency developed the ground-based mid-course defense system incorporating ground-based interceptors, with one in Alaska and the other in California. If a nuke is fired at the US, the HBTSS infrared satellite will detect and alert the interceptor base in Alaska through the C2 BMC fire control system and calculate the trajectory and impact points. It will then activate the following forward base tracking radars. The ANTPY-2 radar in Japan, the sea-based X-band radar near Hawaii, the long-range discrimination radar in Alaska, and the early warning radar in California. These radars combined acquire and track the nuke as it boosts into space, with the closest radars observing the boost and separation stage of the nuke while feeding the agency real-time data to assist in interception calculations, such as how many interceptors are required and where to engage the nuke. Once confirmed, the ground-based interceptors in Alaska will fire the required amount of interceptor missiles to engage the nuke. The interceptor missile has a two-stage booster that houses an exo-atmospheric kill vehicle in the warhead compartment. After the first stage burnout and separation, the second stage booster will adjust the missile to the proper separation point. Once the missile is in the correct position, the exo-atmospheric kill vehicle will detach from the second stage booster and adjust according to target trajectory updates received from ground-based radars. The EKV has onboard sensors that can discriminate between nukes and dummies and adjust the EKV accordingly. Once confirmed, the EKV will intercept the nuke with kinetic energy or with a fragmented explosion warhead. However, due to nukes becoming more advanced with countermeasures that can make the EKV's job much harder, it is said to be only 50% effective, which is why four interceptors are used per nuke. The good news is there is a next-generation interceptor coming out in 2028 that will house more EKV interceptors in the missile that have better target acquisition abilities, which is said to increase the success rate significantly. The best way to defend from nukes is through diplomacy, utilizing peace treaties and arms control, since nobody wins in a nuclear war.